We are eating our way through this book, 1,000 Foods to Eat Before You Die. What are we eating today, guys? Eggs in aspic. Eggs in aspic. Or oofs in gelé, as the French would say. Miles has got a little gelatin and a watch. So we had a hard time finding the right molds, but these are a classic aspic mold we got them on ebay we've got eggs in a ramekin to help us with poaching the eggs we're gonna poach three of these all right go ahead and drop an egg into the swirling vortex now, i did just read something that if we had some kind of a cloth sieve we could get rid of those white wispies but uh we really have that so we're just gonna have to put up with those white wispies Anyone know how to poach an egg? Please leave some comments. Let us know what your best tip is for poaching the perfect egg. All right, we got three great looking poached eggs. We're gonna put those in the fridge, let them chill. Meanwhile, we're getting the other things ready. What are you oh, doing, Nicole? I'm getting some uh, of the aromatics we for got our broth. Parsley and some tarragon, leeks, carrots. Oops, got sorry. some chicken got some broth and egg white. All right, we got two good Hi. helpers. We got Mr. Talon Leo Woodruff and Mr. Miles Lee Miller. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, we're gonna start with that broth. You wanna pour that in? Here, step up. Got a cup and a half of chicken broth. Ooh, a little spillage, that's all right. All right, and we're gonna add the herbs. Oh, oh. And we're gonna turn this on. Is this one? No. Nope. Town's gonna put some herbs in. What do we got in there? Some parsley, some chopped tarragon. It's all going in. All right, and now leeks, celery, and carrots. That needs to go in. All right, Miles, watch out. Let Talon put it in. All right, nice. Keep stirring. This one's one with a drop, Jen. Drop them in. We also have some crushed peppercorns. I can do that. That's going in. Oh, it's, this is heavy. And finally, we got some egg whites, three egg whites. Alan, you're gonna put that in. Watch out, Miles. Good. All right, now we gotta keep stirring that for five minutes, five to ten minutes. Constantly stirring, stirring, stirring. Just go back round and round. All right, it's been a, between six and seven minutes. We've kind of got this soft crust formed from the egg whites. Turned our heat down. Um, and trying to get it down so this is just now simmering. And we're going to let that simmer for, oh, 20 minutes. But you can see this is just like a really weird looking <laughs> soft crust from the eggs. Uh, it's all going to get strained. We're just going for the liquid, but... It definitely has a really good smell to it. Oh, I fogged up the lens there, but it's got like a licorice scent and a vegetable, which of course that's what we've got in there. So we'll see you in about 20 minutes. All right, while that's doing that, we got half a cup of water. We're gonna soften our gelatin. So we got about a tablespoon and a half of gelatin. Stir that up and let it soften. All right, we got it. It's been going okay. for 20 minutes simmering. Not, look at that. Not very appetizing. No, it doesn't look great, but. Okay, I have a sieve. I have a bowl. I have this tea towel that's kind of like a cheesecloth. Pour this over my trusty cloth. Dad. Oh, it's a little different. Because we're not going to press the solids we've done before to get all the liquid out. We're just gonna... Right. 
That's the egg is, is that kind of nasty looking. Yes, it is weird. It kind of looks like quinoa to me. Talon wants to just eat that, right? No. I'll, try, I'll try it. I'll try yeah. it. No, don't do it. Mmm. Oh, you're going back for seconds. It tastes like a herb omelet. There you go. Herb omelet. You don't try it, it's hot. It'll burn your tongue. We're going to add in some gelatin that's been softened and some pork. I'm going to remove this. Liquid. Like we said, we don't want to squish any of those solids in, but I do want to get as much as I can out of there. Pretty clear. Yeah. Don't set it on the burner. All right, so we've got the port and the gelatin that was, oh, is oh, it, it supposed to do that? No, it's just supposed to soften. Should I just put it in? Let's just put it in. No, 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 no. Let's just do a different. All right, so we've chilled that a bit, and now we've got our molds. We've greased it lightly. We're putting just a little bit of this liquid in the bottom here, and we're going to let that almost set. All right, you can see that's kind of starting to set, so we're going to make a little diamond design. Nicole's got some very nice peppers, different colors. We fancy. I guess. Skin side down? I didn't even look. I guess so. That makes the most sense. Alright, so we've got more of that amazing juice <laughs> on top. Juice? Put that back in the fridge to set completely. But we're not done yet. Alright, so we're gonna put the egg in. We got fully set. Put the egg in, looking good. Uh oh, I was trying to move it, but it's not moving. It's yeah, staying right it. there. Now we're gonna fill it up with some more I think of this. I need to clean this up a little bit. <laughs> it's not even fitting in here. These are large eggs. That's the problem with America. Okay. <laughs> Third one's inside the fridge still. All right. Like that? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna put them back to finish them off. I don't know. Is it supposed to be level? I guess we'll find out when we. Well, it goes, like, you know, that side down, so you won't even really see it if it's broken That's out. That's true. Already. Try to make it as aesthetically pleasing as possible. Well, they're gonna float. <laughs> anyway, so. I guess you're right. Okay. All right. It is now the next day, and our eggs are complete. We are going to flip them over onto a bed of lettuce. We already took one out. And we've got this uh, poached egg and jelly. I don't know. We will see if the kids are going to like it or not. Oh, wow. There we go, guys. What do you think? Wow, iceberg lettuce is better than I thought. Iceberg lettuce, huh? Let's try iceberg lettuce. Pretty good. All right, but we're gonna try uh, eggs and jello. Yeah, you wanna cut it in half? Try not, not really try not to make a big mess. Let's do it first. Oh. But you wanna get some of the egg. I know, but I'm just seeing what gelatin tastes like. Tastes like nothing by itself. Mm. Well, we flavored it. You like it? Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> we flavored it with all those herbs and stuff, right? You gotta get the egg. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, I know. Yolk. I hate yolk. Ah. Okay. Uh, I'll just have to take this bite by bite.
favorite egg dish you've ever had? <laughs> no. All right, Talon's gonna try it. He's gonna cut it in half and show us what it looks exactly like. Exactly in half. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the middle. Oh, that's runny. Yeah, it's a yeah, poached. Yeah, it's a poached egg. Look at that. That looks good. Maybe even a little better than our last poached egg. Guess so. All right, you gonna try it? The yolk that's cold is not good. Mm. Cause it was in the freezer. Yeah. Yeah. Fridge or whatever. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need to get egg and jelly or gelatin and herb and I don't know what I'm, whatever. Oh, there you go. Good job. Whatever it is. It's still herb. It needs herbs. I don't it's know what pepper. to do with it. That's a pretty solid bite. What do you think? Is that something you would order at a restaurant? Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy it. Miles is cutting his. Jelly and gooey egg. Look at that, Miles. Let's try to eat this. I want to eat it I'm so bad. What do you think, Miles? Good? It's good, except that the yolk. Like when it it's cold since it was just in the refrigerator. Really, I can't really taste it, but I can taste a little, and it, I don't like it. Um, but other than that, the gelatin and the peppers I really like. I'm I've tried a salad, but it's really good, hmm. and I like. What about it. you, Elliot? It's fine. I didn't really like it that much, but it was fine. I. I wouldn't necessarily order this as at a restaurant, but is it kind of weird to have an egg inside of Jello? Uh, uh, yeah, but I wouldn't really. I like it's fine, but I just wouldn't order it at a restaurant. What do you think, Miles? Good. <clears throat> what does the Jello taste like? Mm, not that much. Okay. This is not appealing to me. Um, I agree with Talon. I think a cold poached egg seems weird. You always want that warm runniness going into your dishes, so. Hmm. Well, it's not really like, it's not offensive. It's not off-putting. It doesn't really taste like much. I think. Miles is right. The gelatin, I mean, it went in with a lot of flavorings and, you know, it's pretty concentrated. It didn't actually look as clear as I think we thought, but I don't know. It's not, it's not doing much for me. I guess this was like pretty fancy, like starter back in the day i don't know well i think everyone else has nailed it i mean this is kind of strange uh you know usually if i have a poached egg it's on eggs benedict or something like that where it's warm um when i do like that but this cold cold poached egg is not it's again nicole said it's not offensive yeah it's not gross it's just kind of bland i think and it took a really long time to make um the jello i was like We've had some of these aspects before. It was just kind of like, ugh. This one, 
it's just like no flavor to it. Um, it's just kind of gelatin. Um, so uh, I would give this one a miss. I would, I don't maybe try it in a restaurant that see if it tasted different, but I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend this at all. All right, guys. So that's oofs and jelly or eggs and aspic. Seems like you guys liked the lettuce more than anything. <laughs> yeah. I've eaten an entire leaf already. You guys have any final thoughts about the eggs? Like you said, I don't think I'd recommend it at all. I love the eggs. I don't really like the jello. Okay, you like the egg, huh? You like runny eggs in general? You're more mm -hmm. of a scrambled guy? I'm more of a burrito. Oh, egg burrito. Mm -hmm. How about you, Talon? Any final thoughts? I agree that the gelatin's kind of bland, but my what I mostly taste, I could taste like the sliced bit and the gelatin, but really what I like for some reason is the peppers. Oh, oh the, the peppers. peppers, all right. Bell peppers, best type of pepper in the world. All right, well, thanks for watching, everybody. Let us know in the comments if you think... Uh, <laughs> Oofs in aspect, eggs in aspect, and jelly are good. So then, see you next time. Bye bye.